Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, we are going to describe the graph of a quadratic function in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This includes transforming standard quadratic function f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c into its vertex form f of x equals a times the square of quantity x minus h plus k. Graphing quadratic function by determining its vertex, domain, range, direction of opening, axis of symmetry, focus, and directrix. By definition, quadratic function is a second degree function whose standard form is defined by f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c for vertical graph, where a is the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term, b is the numerical coefficient of the linear term, and c is a constant. Also take note that f of x is the same as y. Moreover, the graph of a quadratic function is a parabola. Parabola is a symmetrical open plane curve formed by the intersection of a cone with a plane parallel to its side. Now, when graphing a quadratic function, we typically use table of values, wherein we assume values for x or the domain and then solve for y values or the range. However, this method of graphing is inconvenient to use if we have a function whose vertex has fractional coordinates. So, we need to transform the equation into its vertex form. As an example, Transform the quadratic function f of x equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 1 into vertex form and describe its graph. Here we will follow a procedure similar to that of completing the square. Given f of x equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 1, first we set aside the constant term negative 1. Next, we will factor out a or the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term, that is positive 2. Right side of the equation will become 2 times quantity x squared plus 2x minus 1. Then we will supply a constant that will make the term inside the parentheses a perfect square. There we will get the half of the numerical coefficient of the linear term, then have it squared. Half of 2 is 1, then square of 1 is positive 1. Equation will become f of x equals twice quantity x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 1. Here notice that we added a value of 2 to the original equation. That is the value of a, which is 2, times the constant 1. So to make the value of the equation just the same, we will subtract 2. This will become f of x equals twice the quantity x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 1 minus 2. Rewriting the perfect square trinomial into square of a binomial, that is twice the square of quantity x plus 1, and then combine the constant terms negative 1 and negative 2. Equation will be f of x equals 2 times the square of quantity x plus 1 minus 3. Now that we are able to convert the given function into vertex form, we can easily describe the characteristics of its graph. So first is its vertex, or the turning point of the parabola. Recall that for f of x equals a times the square of x minus h plus k, vertex is at hk. So in item number 1, the vertex is at negative 1, negative 3. Negative 1 because x plus 1 should be equal to 0, then transforming positive 1 to the right side, that would give us a value of x that is negative 1. Plotting the vertex in Cartesian plane, that is in the third quadrant. Next, we will construct table of values, x for the domain and y for the range. Here, we will place the coordinates of the vertex at the middle. Then, we will complete the values for x. To the right of negative 1 are 0 and positive 1. Left side are negative 2 and negative 3. After that, substitute the values of x to the quadratic function in vertex form to solve for the values of y. If x is 0, 
f of x or y is equal to twice the square of quantity 0 plus 1 minus 3. 0 plus 1 is 1. Square of that is 1 times 2 is 2 minus 3. So y is negative 1. If x is equal to positive 1, y will be equal to twice quantity 1 plus 1 squared minus 3. 1 plus 1 is 2. Square of that is 4. Times 2 again is 8. Then minus 3, y is 5. Doing the same process, for x negative 3, y will be positive 5. Plotting these points in the Cartesian plane, the graph would look like this. A parabola that opens upward. Another indicator of the opening of the parabola is the value of a, or the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term. If a is greater than 0, parabola opens upward. If a is less than 0, then the parabola opens downward. Also, A provides an insight on how wide or narrow the parabola will be. If the absolute value of A is greater than 1, the parabola will be narrow as A increases, like in a case where A is positive 2 or A is positive 3. Meanwhile, if the absolute value of A is less than 1, the parabola will be wide as A decreases, like A equals 1 half or A equals 1 fourth. Also, since the graph is a vertical parabola, the values for X will be from negative infinity up to the positive infinity. Hence, the domain of this function is a set of real numbers. Moreover, parabola's minimum point for Y is at negative 3. Thus, the range is from negative 3 up to positive infinity or y is greater than or equal to negative 3. For axis of symmetry, by definition, it is a line that divides the parabola into two equal parts and that passes through the vertex. For this example, it is a vertical line. Its equation is given by x equals h or in this example, x be equal to negative 1. For the focus and directrix, we say that a parabola is a set of all points in a plane which are equal distance away from a given point and given line. The point is called the focus of the parabola and the line is called the directrix. Here is an illustration. In this example, the focus, say F, has coordinates of H and K plus P where p is given by 1 over 4a. In our given function, f of x equals twice the square of quantity x plus 1 minus 3, a has a value of 2. So when solving for p, that will be p equals 1 over 4 times 2, or 1 over 8. Hence, the coordinates of focus following the given formula is negative 1 and negative 3 plus 1 over 8 or negative 1 and negative 2.875. For the directrix, we will use the formula y equals k minus p. For focus, we add p. For directrix, we subtract the value of p. So that is negative 3 minus 1 over 8. Negative 3 minus 1 over 8 is the same as negative 3 and 1 8 or negative 3.125. Thus, the directrix is at y equals negative 3.125. For our second example, describe the graph of the quadratic function f of x equals negative x squared over 2 plus 2x minus 6. Just like in example number 1, we first need to change this in vertex form. We set aside the constant negative 6. We will factor out a for this function that is negative 1 half. The right side will become negative 1 half times quantity x squared minus 4x then minus 6. Now we will think of a constant that will make the terms inside the parentheses a perfect square. So getting the half of negative 4 is negative 2. Square of that is positive 4. Adding 4 inside the parentheses would mean adding negative 2 because 4 times negative 1 half, which is the value of A, is equal to negative 2. 
So, to make the equation the same, we need to add positive 2. Function would become f of x equals negative 1 half times quantity x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 6 plus 2. Rewriting the perfect square trinomial into square of a binomial, that is the square of x minus 2. Then combining the constants negative 6 and positive 2 is negative 4. Thus, the vertex form of the function is f of x equals negative 1 half times the square of quantity x minus 2 minus 4. Identifying the vertex of this graph, that will be positive 2 and negative 4. In Cartesian plane, that is in quadrant 4. Constructing the table of values for the domain and range, again, we will place the coordinates of the vertex in the middle, completing the values for x to the right of 2 are positive 3 and positive 4, left side are 1 and 0. Using the function's vertex form to solve for y, when x is 3, y is negative 9 over 2. When x is 4, y is negative 6. For x be equal to 1, y is negative 9 over 2. And when x is 0, y is negative 6. Plotting these points in the Cartesian plane, thus we have a parabola that opens downward. Here notice that a of negative 1 half is less than 0. So it proves the earlier assumption that when a is less than 0, the graph opens downward. So for the domain, x is an element of real number. And for range, since the maximum point or value is at negative 4, y should be less than or equal to negative 4. For the equation of axis of symmetry, we will just equate the binomial x minus 2 by 0. Hence, the axis of symmetry is x equals 2. For the focus, again, we will use the formula f, h, and k plus p. Solving for p, that is 1 over 4 times negative 1 half or equal to negative 1 half. Thus, the focus is at 2 and negative 4 minus negative 1 half or 2 and negative 9 over 2. For the directrix, using the formula y is equal to k minus p, where k is negative 4 and p is negative 1 half, that would be negative 4 minus negative 1 half, which is equal to negative 7 over 2. Hence, the equation of the directrix is at y equals negative 7 over 2. For our third example, describe the graph of the quadratic function f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. In this example, notice that the side of the equation is already a perfect square trinomial. With that, we can transform this right away into its vertex form. That is f of x equals the square of quantity x minus 2. A here is positive 1, H is positive 2, and K will be equal to 0. Thus, the vertex of this parabola is at positive 2, 0. And the graph opens upward since A is equal to 1 and that is positive. Constructing table of values for domain or X, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Solving for the range, using the vertex form of the function, if x is 3, so 3 minus 2 is 1, square of that is 1. When x is 3, y is 1. When x is 4, y is equal to 4. When x is positive 1, y is equal to positive 1. And when x is 0, y is positive 4. Plotting these values in the Cartesian plane, the parabola would look like this. So its domain is the set of real numbers. And range is at y greater than or equal to 0. For the equation of axis of symmetry, that is x equals positive 2. Solving for p of focus, that is p equals 1 over 4 times 1 or 1 fourth. So here the focus is at 2 positive 1 fourth and the directrix is y equals negative 1 fourth. To sum up, when asked to describe the graph of a quadratic function in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we first need to transform the function in its vertex form. 
that is given by y equals a times the square of x minus h plus k. Where coordinates of vertex is at hk, domain is the set of real numbers, range y is greater than or equal to k. If parabola opens upward, y is less than or equal to k if parabola opens downward. When a is greater than 0, parabola opens upward. When a is less than 0, parabola opens downward. Axis of symmetry is given by x equals h. Focus is at h and k plus p. And directrix y is at k minus p. Thank you for watching. God bless.